Hello, hello everyone. I'm bringing you in because I am getting ready to make the creamiest corn pudding you have ever had. If you've, if you've never had it, you need to make it because it is absolutely incredible. About a third cup of sugar. This is cane sugar. Three tablespoon of uh, cornstarch and a half a teaspoon of salt. I have here Trader Joe's uh, coconut milk. I like this one because it's not sweet and it's really good. I have here carnation milk that I have previously done. And I do this by adding water, a little bit of salt and cinnamon and I bring it to a boil. I do two cans of water for one can of carnation milk. I have here some uh, vanilla extract. And here, the star of the show, I have a can of corn. It's important that you take a strainer and strain the corn and rinse it before you use it. All I'm going to do now is dump all of these except for the, um, what do you call these again? Cinnamon into the blender. Okay, now everything is in there. We're going to get ready to blend. Let's see, can I hold this and blend? Nice smooth product you want to strain the bits from the corn in here, like I'm doing here. Oh, obviously what you see there is probably the fat from the coconut. So that means I'm gonna have to warm this up a little bit to warm up the coconut and then go ahead and strain it. So if you're gonna make it, don't put the coconut milk in. Put the coconut milk after you have strained it. Oh goodness, my Vitamix warms up as well. Oh, I would've been in deep trouble. See the difference? Look at that. Now we can strain it way different than what I have be than when I showed you before. So that's what we're gonna do. Now it's important to have a little bit of um of cornstarch dissolve in a little bit of water in case you want it a little bit thicker. Then you can always add a little bit more as you're cooking and when you see the end results. Um just keep in mind that I use a can of each, a can of coconut milk in a can, a full can of, um, and I mean the mix already. So I took this and I measure it with the cup of the coconut milk, okay? So, and I have here three tablespoons of the corn starch. So that means that for every can of liquid, you're gonna add a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. I hope that helps. Let me just get this going. So, oh, I don't have any bits, that's all. If you have a Vitamix, it'll save you having to strain it because the Vitamix just overrides everything pretty much. So what we're gonna do here is start, I mean, you cannot leave it alone. This is gonna be the longest process is you're gonna have to continue stirring it until it thickens up. But I wanna also to mention that if you prefer to make it a vegan and not add milk, like carnation milk, you can substitute that for almond milk or you can also make cashew milk, the milk of your choice. Or you can make it just straight up with coconut milk. I just think it's, it will be a little bit too strong. But if you like coconut and you don't mind, you can certainly do that. So I'm just going, it's gonna be a little bit before this thing thickens. So just be patient. All right guys, so as you can see, I started off on high and then I lowered it because I don't want it to stick to the bottom, but you see it's starting to get thick. And that's what I'm looking for. Oh my God. Remember when I was saying to have a little bit ready in case you want it a little bit thicker? This is what I mean. I have here about a teaspoon and I want mine a little bit thicker. So I'm just gonna add more and then I'm just going to stir until it gets a little bit thicker. I am done and I really like the consistency. So now I'm going to put it in um, serving uh, vessels and wait for it to get completely cold or cooled and then put it in the refrigerator. It's gonna take a couple of hours. So if you make it too thick, then it's gonna be, when it gets cold, it's gonna be like, like blocks. You don't want that. You want it to be nice and smooth. It turned out ready. amazing. If you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you.